Hi, I'm Kyle Gavin. I'm PE teacher here at Timley Summit. Welcome Indianapolis RC South to our school. Thank you for helping us out on our STEM Fridays and uh, teaching our kids about aviation. Hi, I'm Rick Taylor. I'm the club president for Indy RC South and it's been a joy to be up here today. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. The weather's been cooperative, getting a little windy right now. We've got two more <laughs> sessions to go, but uh, all the kids that have been out here so far up here have been having a lot of fun. and fly. So have you seen airplanes fly in the sky? I think yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. You might have even made some paper airplanes yourself. It's kind of fun to try. Okay. <clears throat> so what Rick and I do is we buy model airplanes and a lot of times they come where you have to put them together like this one. So when I bought this airplane it was on a flat cardboard box and it was like about 30 pieces. And so I had to watch a video and then watch the instructions and then it tells you how to put the things together. So basically, with this uh, airplane, um, as it flies through the air, it needs something to help keep it in the air. So, what do you feel going across your face right now? Wind. Air. Wind, air. There you go. So wind. When the wind goes across the airplane, these what they call wings give it lift. All right. So if I the wind is coming this way right now, I'm blowing that direction. So if I were to hold this out. The actual airplane wants to turn this way because that's the way the wind is actually coming, right there. If I try to turn this way, it's like a weather vane, it wants to spin. So this tells me the wind's coming exactly right that direction. So, Rick's going to hold this for you, and I'm going to show you. So we belong to a model club where we fly on a field in a farmer's area, so it's nice and safe. We don't fly over homes and things like that. We don't fly over people. <coughs> but what we do is, we have to have some way for this airplane to move through the air. So it needs a motor, right? All right. So my motor's right here, and it has a propeller on it. So a propeller is kind of like a knife, and it's sharp, right? So you do, do you want to touch the propeller with your fingers? Girls, no. Okay. It's a bee. It's not going to hurt you if you don't bother it. No, the more you keep moving all around, all right. you're going to So we need some way of making this propeller spin. We need energy. What's a way I can do energy? Sun is one way, so solar, yes. Is that what you said? Okay, over here. Water, no, that's a different form of energy. What What do we have a way of storing energy? Electricity. Electricity, but how do you store electricity? In a? Battery. In a battery, right. So this airplane takes batteries, like this, this little tiny battery. The one right here. And so the airplane is plugged into the battery. Plugged in. And what I'm able to do is with this is called a remote control, radio control. So you see the joysticks right here? So as I move this joystick, isn't it cool? It's wirelessly talking to this airplane. So as I move this joystick, it changes the wings. This way. This way. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yeah. All right. So now I also there's a way I can 
make the propeller spin. So I have to turn off the safety switch and then I can spin it up. Isn't that cool? Now safety switch is back on. So now if I accidentally bump the, the throttle, it's not going to start up. So it's always good to have a safety. So who wants to see this thing fly? Yeah? So this is a little different plane. It's smaller and there's no motor. Okay, you see? This one had a motor and that's how it moves. This is no motor, so how do you think it goes through the air? I heard it over here. What'd you say? In the wind. So the wings, you see how the wings are moving upwards? Look at the wings here. Are they going Just up like this? No. So this is more for acrobatic plane. So you can fly upside down, right side up. It doesn't matter because the wings look the same. Does that make sense? This one, look at the wings. They go upwards. So do you think it's going to fly different like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to fly like this. It wants to fly like this because the wind comes in and with the wings going up, it holds it up. It kind of pushes it. Yep. And this one has a motor too. And it has a propeller that actually they fold in. Okay, you ready? Yeah! Hey, what's it up? That one looks pretty good. Isn't that cool? Notice the wind picked up. It got the wind got stronger. It affected the plane. Like who's made a hickory one before? Yes, you're my friends. So, how I make airplanes? This is one example of one. So, what do you think this was made out of? Yeah, cardboard. Yep, and more specifically, this is called foam board. So this is, it started out like this, and I made it into this. All right, so here's actually two, two airplanes on here. And you see this over here, this is the wing. See how it's bigger than the other parts? Yeah. And then this part over here is the body. So it's, it's more of a rectangular thing. I got a question. It's, yeah. it's, it's important to plan out and have your things ready to actually drop and then just putting stuff together. So it's a planning phase. It's supposed to be the dragon thing, not? Oh, I'm playing with them. Excellent. Thank you. Because they like to jump right into the dragon. Oh, that's a good one. But I just want to let you know that, you know, with your mind, you can be creative and figure out different ways. So you basically need, if you're making an airplane, Need to have wings. And that's what what's going to provide the lift. Not a lot of air. Yep. You need to have the body, which is called the fuselage, right and then the tail is also what helps make it steer. Yeah, this is made out of foam board too, but it doesn't have a propeller. It's got a fan inside of it. See those blades in here?
flight has wings. And what does it use to help keep it in the air? Air, wind, and also what use the motor. I said, I said the motor. It needs a motor to make it go forward. Yes, of course. And it has batteries too. So this has one battery. It's bigger. It's right here. Does this have wings? No. No wings. So if you turn off the motors, it's going to fall like a rock. The wind won't hold it up. It's too heavy. It's pretty heavy, yes. But it has four motors. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yep. And so they'll spin. And what happens is there's two cameras on the front. So it is transmitting this antenna back to my goggles. All right. So now I can see you. There's a camera in there. Hello, hello. There you go. They're waving up a hand. Two. Yep. All right. So the quadcopter camera is going back to my goggles, and we're going to take it in small groups over to my TV set, so you can watch what I see as I fly. So I'm going to use my radio control, and then fly this as well. All right. Miss Woodring, ladies, please stand up. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, 